Let's follow up on our conversation from yesterday, Karen. So is there anything, any question you had about the conversation we had yesterday? The only question I have is like, I love the idea of opening a, a view for a page about, I mean, just like helping local business owners, telling them what, what's going on, you know, like, even just promoting that, like, while business as usual is not going on right now, there is still services, there are still services that are happening, and this is how you can reach the cosmetics lady, or the restaurant, or this and that and that. Uh, um, I, one thing that we talked about yesterday is the difference between a group and a page, and if you can answer that, that question about the difference that would... Yeah, so that is a great question, Karen. When it comes to Facebook, we have three choices. So, you join Facebook with your Facebook profile. You have to create a Facebook profile to join Facebook. With your Facebook profile, now you can open a Facebook business page and use this only for your business. When it comes to profile or Facebook, we always would recommend that you are creating a Facebook uh, business page. You could do one that brands you, you could do one brands your community, your brokerage, so you have different options. Uh, if you want to do a branded page, then we would recommend probably to do it to your name or do it to a community that you now administer the page for. Now, the third choice is you can join a group with your Facebook profile or with your Facebook business page. A group administrator makes the option available to join us a uh, profile or as a group not every group allows you to join as a facebook business page for several reasons and you may understand right away now when you are joining a group with your facebook business page we can capitalize on the back end and um, capture everybody in an audience that interacted with your Facebook page. That means now your Facebook business page becomes the main source when you are uh, sending it out. That is why we want uh, our videos to be sourced from our Facebook business page and then we are sharing it to our profile and to different groups the same with our posts when we are doing a post we can share it to other pages we can share it into groups and we can share it to our personal page we are now those facebook business page is the main source and everything comes back where we now can build audiences everybody who engaged with us everybody who watched our videos and that is the difference between your profile and your business page your profile uh, can be open but many uh, having it closed so people have to befriend you when they want to interact with you right now there are changes coming to facebook where when you only had friends and nothing was visible to your audience you will stay in the friend zone when you had your profile open where everybody could follow you, Facebook now will take those pages and convert them into professional mode where now your friends and your public followers are combined in one audience and you see all the insights from your uh, professional mode page or from your profile. So we, we have an open Facebook profile, so we will have combined our audiences and that allows us not only to see the insights, what is going on on our profile, but also allows us to boost. So we are not taking any action on our profile. We are sourcing everything from our business page because I have much more option like doing an audiences, capturing video views, uh, putting everybody in an audiences who is engaging with our uh, page. And that is 
why that becomes the source. So when you are uh, going into Facebook groups with your business page, now everything comes back and we can capitalize back and, and building audiences and do all sorts kind of things so that we are always staying top of mind and are able to build our brand, to put out our name, that we are serving the community. Okay, and then, so, but if I use a page, can I have the same restrictions on a page too? When you have a page, you can do some restrictions. So your page is usually open. You can public post or you can build uh, audiences within the Facebook page where audience only see it. You can restrict commenting or uh, posting on your page on the back end, but uh, usually people are commenting and when uh, so when so, if somebody is posting on your page, that will be in a different feed many times spammers so you delete them but you want to be your commenting open so that you have the interacting on your page so if a page is open anybody can post on the page yes and no so you can restrict it and you can allow it so it's a decision you have to make 